Hi, I'm Kamakshay Musnaru. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use one of my web applications known as RGFSIM. I wrote this application a couple of years before uh, for those folks uh, who are interested in uh, structural equation modeling. By the way, structural equation modeling is one of the sort of the techniques in uh, behavioral sciences. It is used uh, very rampantly in uh, psychology, business management, economics, uh, econometrics, and uh, commerce, etc., etc. So I wrote this application a couple of years before, and at that time, I there are so many you know video demonstrations. By the way, you just have to go to my YouTube channel. There, there are a couple of videos, like you know more than four videos. The demonstrates about uh, using this uh, application on the idea of same for structural equation modeling. Uh, why I'm creating uh, one? <laughs> I think in this video I am going to talk about how to. I just added uh, Windows implementation because uh, this is. Uh, I created this application by using our programming language with the help of a Shiny um, framework. So this is a web application. So usually these type of applications will have a file called uh, see here. Dot R file. This is R file. So, by the way, um, to use this application, you need to ensure R and R Studio in your computer. Otherwise, it will not work. Obviously, to use Python scripts, we need to have Python in the computer. To use uh, Java scripts, we need to have Java in the computer. In the same fashion, to use R applications, we need to have R installed in our computer. So, whoever would like to install this uh, application, they need to have R as well as R Studio. Now, how to install this application in Windows? That is actually the focus of the discussion. Uh, if you go to my repository, just like you know, github.com forward slash kamakshaya forward slash slash rgfsm, there's a green color button. Uh, you have to download this to wherever you want to download this, like to your computer. I'm going to save this somewhere. I already have that, but I'm going to override the existing file so that I want to show you in real time. Now open that folder, you see here, this is actually a zip file. So every uh, Windows operating system today has got the capability to extract the zip archive. Now starts the implementation. See, actually Im installing, uh, not the implementation, installation. So installing an application in Windows is nothing but, uh, you know, in every computer for that matter. Installation mm -hmm. means we have to copy the binaries to some certain location usually that can, that will be c drive so that is what is installation everywhere in linux we extract them to some sort of you know bin directory and here c drive is windows home so whenever we install any application those libraries comes here into some other folder some so mostly either it will be inside program files or it will but this type of open uh, source applications mostly will not be exe i mean they are not executable which means uh, most of the time the application executable application or executable uh, file in windows is a windows version of uh, you know performing the installation so in order to install an application in windows we need to have the executable file and this uh, it's not a file actually it is an archive uh, mostly that file will have an extension like .exe so when we double click or when we right click and run in administrator, so uh, Windows will identify that archive as an executable um, bundle of the application and then so as per the you know design of the programmer, it will be all the copies will be copied to something. So here that kind of uh, you know button is not there. So what you need to do is that, so this is as you know, we we downloaded that uh, you know zip archive here now right click uh, so if you open with uh, not open with actually uh, okay um, extract all when you press extract all in uh, an operating system like windows 10 it is just going to pop up this window and you see here browse and see that it will you will extract all this file to the c drive in a folder called rgf zip so uh, I already have that. So let me uh, first uninstall it so that I, I can show you how to uninstall uh, in C drive. I already have that. So uninstalling is nothing but deleting it. That's all. So when I delete, I also I have. Uh, so now what happens? Browse. 
go to the C directory and then see that you create a folder called rgfz that's it and select that folder press extract that's all over that is all about installing this application now one small final thing is go to that folder installation directory rgfz where is it hello where are you mm, i am not able to see that in s or gfm oh yeah here it is now go here there is a folder called shiny run you just right click and then send to create a shortcut on desktop so usually what happens uh, most of the executable executables in windows are going to create a shortcut uh, on uh, windows desktop so that so now the installation part is over so installation is all about you know extracting the entire you know bundle into i mean zip archive into a folder known as rgfz and then right click the dot cmd file inside uh, shiny shortcut and now you just have to double click this uh, cm dot cmd file so that it is going to yeah it will ask automatically because it's not uh, we have we have taken all shortcut uh, you know uh, turnings to install uh, so more information than run anyway now the application is running so obviously it will uh, go to the cmd and there uh, the application will be opened so once the application is opened <laughs> the application will be opened in uh, in one of your default web browsers of the operating system now this is what is the application that's all so this is all about installing rgfsm in windows now you can just start using it for you can just go and have uh, you know feel free to go through all these menus and explore your and then uh, i also provided this is actually the menu for so i, I in the same in the installation directory you see here c rgfs in there is a data set okay you can just uh, use that data set upload it and then test it i go to the exploratory factor analysis and send here efa these are the results of the yes efa the same results as you get uh, in uh, normal uh, r studio or r whatever and then if you want the diagram then you have the diagram here you can just you know move this anywhere you want kind of and then you can copy this and save it in your and then you can also you know copy this and make use of this outputs in your reports or something like that now you can also perform cf here here so i want three component uh, kind of uh, now we need to supply some model okay i explained all these things in one of my videos here in somewhere i don't know actually maybe in in cfa you will find i described in detail like how, what is a model how to write a model define a model uh, you know for sem especially so i have one uh, you know one of the you know mo one one file for the model this is a there is a file in the installation directory called model.lav is a lavan model all these things i explained in my you know they're all there in my youtube channel they're all there in my youtube channel you can just uh, what is a model how to write a model how to define a model this is just a notepad uh, you know a text file that's it nothing else. and if you open then now you got uh, you know structural equation i mean solution for the cfa i mean confirmation factor analysis and you can also feel free to explore rest of the options you want structure diagram here this is actually the structural equation modeling this is the diagram you can just copy this and export it to your wherever you want you can just uh, save there and and then you got uh, rest of the like you know i don't anything just you know make uh, same you don't need to know what is structural equation modeling to use this application so for those individuals who are unaware of uh, uh, alpha beta gamma of uh, structural equation they can just uh, choose this option so this will uh, going to get all the output uh, efa cfa and structural diagram and all of the things here so this is about uh, how to you know i just wanted to explain how how to install rgfsm in windows so feel free to use this application so this is an open source application entirely free and commercial application i have some implementation uh, related to documentation and i also provide uh, terminal anyway that's none of the matter for this video so that's it what else you want so performing structural equation modeling using rr studio is so cool than 
SPS is MOS. So this is what I mean whenever I compare R with uh, SPSS. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the new content. Please press like button and also subscribe to my please subscribe to my video channel. Thanks a lot.